Are your enter constantly rising and using up your hard-earned cash? Are you ready to stick it to the big power companies and do something about it? In Britain, as in many other countries around the world, energy prices are soaring. Just recently, the major energy companies decided to award themselves a pay rise by imposing a price hike in the region of 10%. And they've decided to do it just before the most expensive bill of the year, the winter quarter. No great surprise for many of us, who have seen these sorts of cynical moves from these giant companies before, despite the usual media outcry about families being forced into fuel poverty. But what if you could do something about it? No, no, not yet another switch from one supplier to another like you're some sort of tennis ball that bleeds money each time it lands on their side of the net. What if it were possible to actually generate your own electricity, so you could reduce your bills or even eliminate them? What if it were even possible to generate enough energy to get them paying you for it? Well, such things are perfectly possible, in a number of different ways. When you think of free energy, you probably picture a wind farm full of huge turbines, or possibly some solar panels. The trouble is that these solutions are not always practical. Solar panels are great, but they can be very expensive, taking many years to recoup your investment. And where do you put them, if your roof is not suitable for their installation? And there's probably not a lot of room for a wind turbine in the garden of a three-bedroom semi, not to mention what the neighbors would make of it. But a lucky few have used these technologies to their advantage, and some have even got the power companies paying them. But what if those ways are not practical for me? Wind turbines and solar panels are just the mainstream ways of generating free energy. They are not the only ways. Other ways include the harnessing of background radiant energy from the sun and outer space the use of static electricity, and the use of the TV and radio waves that surround us all the time. And if harnessing radiant energy from the sun sounds a bit too far-fetched, stop and think for a moment about what exactly the solar panel on your desktop calculator is actually doing right now. Ah, right. But surely that sort of thing can't be safe. No less safe than the solar panel you were just looking at. But seriously, your household electrical system is dangerous if you don't know what you're doing, and can kill. Never work on a live system. The best thing is to start small, and work your way up to more complex and higher power systems. If you're very unsure, consult a professional. So, what marvelous new technology can harness this free energy? Well actually, this technology has been around for 100 years, but it is not well known, it is based on ideas developed by an inventor called Nikola Tesla. He was a scientific genius during the last century, but was rather unconventional. He created many devices for experiments with electricity generation and transmission. You may have heard, for instance, about Tesla coils. He believed that, electric power is everywhere present in unlimited quantities, and he developed his technologies in order to harness that power for the greater good. There are many conspiracy theories surrounding the suppression of his ideas. Many free energy systems and devices are based on his ideas. But surely equipment like that must be really expensive, and complex to build. As a matter of fact, a simple circuit can be put together in half an hour. It contains a handful of common electronic components, obtainable from any electronic store on the high street or online. It costs under a fiver, and can provide enough voltage to charge your mobile phone. The circuit diagram can be viewed on our short video. Please try it for yourself. It's actually a good fun electronics project to make with the kids. No high voltages, a bit like when you remember powering a small radio from a lemon. The principle can be scaled up in order to power larger devices.